I'm the person that stuff, and today I'm gonna be um, working on this little dude here. I'm doing a ton of little paintings on wood blocks. Got this little dude, it's an alien. This dude took really big pieces of wood like this. I got um, Daddy Perry. Hey, it's Andy. And this dude, he's like this cat man guy. I draw, he's holding a rat. Clinton, this isn't the big one. I cut this already. Um, did them on big pieces of wood, did little lines. And I took them out to my um, saw table outside, sawed them. My miter box to like do straight lines and shit in the middle. I don't know, I cut blocks out of wood and I'm drawing pretty pictures on them. And hopefully people might buy them. <laughs> they don't, and I'm still having fun. Anyways, I'm going and finishing up this bird now. So I got my palette here, taking some blue, putting it down, better gray, ma making a maybe a darkish purple, yeah, darkish purple to add some background. This little dude's cheeseburger dream going on the side. Trying to get the tops too, because these are you know the big ass square blocks. Unlike canvases where I can just paint the edges black here, there's so much more space, and I figure, hey, you know, might as well just. Make it a bit white around the edges, just to add that this is a top up kind of, you know? Give it a bit of a cloudy, finish quality. Go now on the outside of the bubble too. Mom is out there watching Family Feud. She is shutting on answers. I do not know if you can hear that for the audio. That's what's going on. This dude is pretty much, you know, he's filled in. Gotta finish that yellow on his fries, though. Go take a yellow, you know. Guess what comes next? Fill in the yellow on the fries. Yeah, boom. Pretty much done. You got a hungry ass bird right there. Now, here's a problem I have with my brushes. This is a really small block of wood, and I want to get it really detailed. At first I did these guys with all just India ink. I was able to get really fine lines of a real small brush. But um, when you do acrylic paint, it's a bit thicker. And for me personally, I can't really get very fine lines with black paint. You know, it's this guy. You got some really thick lines. It's hard to do small shit. And um... This guy got some better lines around the eyes because of the brush I used. And as you can see by my brushes, this one, pretty small, but the edge, very frayed. This one, same size, the edge of the brush, though, it's really used and fucked up, so if you try, like, doing a fine line, it'll go and make a weird feathery thing. So I'm going to do, instead of just trying to use these brushes, okay, you know, I could just... So I'm going to go here, just pick the brush this dude's line work in. Be very careful. It's already a lot easier than brushes. If anyone ever disses you for using brush pens and says you need to use an actual brush, you know, maybe listen to them, because if you haven't done brushes before, and you just only fuck with brush pens, it's good to learn that shit, because that shit's really helpful. But if you're just like hardcore, always brushing, you're like, dude, I just want to break. You know, you just, you do you. I'm going to add an extra detail that I did not originally plan on, and I hope it doesn't suck. Dude, I don't know. Sometimes I used to be kind of judgy of like, like eighth grade and trying to like be eighth snobby grade and trying to be all snobby about part. like comic book art. Dude. Dude, what's up with the vanilla face? We're bang bang a skid skid nigga. We're just a couple of pimps, no hoes. Going very carefully. Line work on this dude. Don't want to fuck up. If you if you die in your dreams, die for real. And if you fuck up on the fucking piece of wood, you you fucked up on the piece of wood. You can't really. Just you just fucked up, man. Um, Spider-Man mask is difficult to breathe in. Doing the cheese on the cheeseburger now. 
very carefully down the top of the burger. Now the meat, the lettuce. What have we done? Outlining what is supposed to be the plate. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have outlined the seeds on the thing. I don't like how that looks too much, but... I think this is looking... I think it looks... Oh, I have been more detailed about what is. This ink is permanent, so it's not just gonna be watering off. I, I don't think. Don't. I'm not entirely sure, but it says archival, that should better. Yeah, waterproof and fade proof line is, is good. Don't do Sharpies with this stuff, because Sharpies, they fade really, really bad. I've seen that with some of my older stuff. It's crazy how bad the Sharpie fades, but when it fades, it really fades. It's crazy noticeable. And it's a really... Use glue too, glue sticks, make sure it's archival. That shit will actually really yellow the paper, it's crazy how bad it yellows, it's just like holy shit. Anyways, um, Birdie's looking pretty cool. Doing some more minute mine work stuff, and I'm gonna go set my name very carefully right there. And, um, that's the birdie. And when I'm done, I'm gonna go and write the name and the, my info and stuff on the back like I did with these other dudes. And, um, yeah, that's lining the bird. Hope you liked watching, um... Will it take you to bring him to their knees? Next year? Well, you know it, right? Somebody stuck a big club up my ass. It hurts. Got to figure out a way to get it out of there. Goddamn! Uh, 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 you son of a bitch! Come back here, you motherfucker!